Football at four. What football news in the state of North Carolina can we talk about today? All right, Dave Canales hired as the brand new head coach of the Carolina Panthers. Uh, and with that, we will open back up our phone lines. Heaster Automotive Group hotline. That's the Heaster Automotive Group hotline. 919-860-5326 for your reactions to the Dave Canales hire. There's one reason Dave Canales was hired. There's a bunch of secondary reasons. Oh, he's buddies with Dan Morgan. Oh, he was available. Oh, he reclaimed it. Listen, it's a Bryce Young hire. The reason why Dave Canales was hired to be the head coach of the Carolina Panthers is not because he wooed David Tepper, although he probably had to with a great interview. It's not because he's best friends with Dan Morgan, although they're pretty close. They worked together for eight years in Seattle. It's not because he gives off Pete Carroll energy, although can't hurt to give off Pete Carroll energy. It's because of Bryce Young. He's a quarterback flipper. It's like an HGTV show, right? He comes into your your rundown, your problem, your your dated, your retro, your needs help. Maybe a wall's crumbling. Maybe there's water damage. He comes into your 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 uh, brand new house or your bummy house, and he fixes it up. Although instead of a house, it's quarterback. He was the Seahawks quarterback coach last year during Geno Smith's Comeback Player of the Year campaign. Guess what happened when Canales left? Wasn't the same. This past season, he served as Tampa Bay's offensive coordinator. Baker Mayfield, candidate for Comeback Player of the Year, took his team to the postseason, went from a guy that could not keep a job. We know the Baker we saw here in Carolina. He won a playoff game. Bryce needs to be flipped. I'm not saying Bryce is a lost cause. He he might be a, a quarterback where you're looking at the, the house going, man, the bones of this house are incredible, right? Look at the college foundation he laid at Alabama. Look at the ability. Look at some of these highlights. That's like having a wide open floor plan first floor, right? It has the giant back deck. The house has the bones that are awesome, but you have to look at last year and go, man, the last owners did some weird things with it. Also went through some pretty nasty storms. Yeah. The, the last owners turned like the fourth bedroom into uh, like a, a a bar, but the bar is falling over, right? They added the, the they tried to do it themselves. Got for, rid of a queen for size some bed. Reason, yeah, for, yeah they, for some reason, they decided to, to uh, try to have an indoor putting green in the kitchen. Like they, they made some weird decisions. Dave Canales comes in, he, his goal is to get Bryce Young back. If that happens this upcoming year, I don't care if they win four games, which would, by the way, double their win total. But if, if, if they win four games but Bryce Young looks significantly better, gangbusters hire. If gangbusters hire, if it happens, right? If Dave Canales works, and, and by the way, that doesn't have to mean playoffs. It doesn't have to mean your next year's Texans, although that would be lovely. It doesn't have to mean you're, you're the Detroit Lions in two years. It doesn't have to, although that would be lovely. It just means progress for Bryce. If that happens, you're set. That's the ceiling. That's the the dragon you're chasing when you make this hire. You could have hired Mike Vrabel. You could have hired Raheem Morris. You could have hired Dan Quinn. You could have hired uh, Bill Belichick. You could have hired a lot of coaches that would come in and immediately make you a professional organization. Guys that are proven. Guys that have been around. Guys that have been to the playoffs as head coach. You could have brought somebody in that was a walking, hard-nosed culture to whip all the young whippersnappers into shape. You could have done that. Instead, you're chasing the high, right? Instead, you're chasing the next big thing. You're chasing Canales and Bryce Young connected at the hip for the next 12 years, right? You you hope that that you they become uh, you know what you're seeing maybe with someone like uh, Jordan Love and Lafleur this past year. Where it wasn't all good, it wasn't all gravy, but you know that play caller's not going anywhere because he's your head coach, and that quarterback's not going anywhere because he just performed in that system, and both are going to become codependent of each other. Do you know what would be the best possible scenario? The best possible argument we could have 
is 10 years from now if we start asking, is it Canalis or is it Young? Hmm. Right? It's like the the a lesser version of Brady Belichick because you won't know because they're they're so intertwined they're so connected they're so it's his system but he's the one executing it they're so together that's the best case scenario that's why you make this higher because that's a possibility that's why you make this higher because that's that's the pipe dream that's the fantasy you've given yourself is it likely probably not. Is the floor significantly lower than some of the other guys I mentioned? Yes. But the high is high. Uh, I mentioned I want your reactions on the Heaster Automotive Group hotline. Uh, Well, the way to do that is to call in 919-860-5326. We'll be checking in on your responses throughout the show. 919-860-5326. And it's time to hear from Steve and Apex. Steve, thank you very much for joining the show. What's your reaction to uh, Dave Canales? I'm just speechless. I I, I don't know, I, I, Tim. I, I I need you more than anything else. I, hey, I vent it out, vent it out. We're here for you. We're all ears. I don't know what that. I don't know what. I, I'm trying to get a, a slight kind of read on the on of what is, what is exactly what are we trying to accomplish? Mm-hmm. And I, I I just don't. I don't know if he's trying to actually. Try, I know he's trying to win. I assume, mm-hmm. yep. but I'm not sure if he really truly wants to go all in on winning. And then I see the little stuff. It's kind of like he re- almost like he refuses to give it a shot. It's kind of like I'm a yeah, I'm gonna play, but I'm not really gonna put my foot all the way in the water. That's the mind. T- that's just what I'm reading. I, maybe I'm reading it wrong. I, I, hey, I don't. Th- I don't think anybody's reading it completely wrong. O- only time will tell. Um, I appreciate the call, Stephen. And and here's what all I right, can buddy. here's what I can tell you. Tepper, I do believe, wants to win. The owner of the Panthers, I believe, is a wildly competitive person, and he might be even a little too cutthroat and ruthless, and he has to tame that back. I believe he wants to win. What I will also say is it does feel like he is shuffling through, rifling through archetypes of potential head coaches. Right, His first hire, once he – right, Ron Rivera moves on. uh, They go to Matt Rule, the hotshot college coach. Right, who had uh, spun Temple and Baylor, the hot shot college coach. It didn't work out. All right, so he looked at his list and he and he checked off hot shot college coach. Where do I go next? Veteran quarter or veteran uh, head coach went went and snagged Frank Reich. That didn't work. All right, let me cross off veteran NFL coach. Where do I go next? How about young, unproven but high ceiling offensive coach? All right, we'll go there next. If that doesn't work out, guess what's coming next? A defensive coordinator. If that doesn't work out, guess what's coming next? Somebody from a broadcast booth somewhere. If that doesn't work out, guess what's coming next? A basketball coach. Like, he's going to go through them and and keep trying something new until it works or until he gets tired. We'll take one more call here uh, before the break. Uh, Your calls can come in throughout the show. Heaster Automotive Group Hotline, 919-860-5326. We'll go to Ryan from Wendell. Ryan, thank you very much for calling in. Uh, What's your reaction to uh, to the uh, the hire of, of the new head coach? I think it'll. I don't think it'll make any difference. I'm kind of on your, like on your, <laughs> on your track. You know, like I mean, why not Tim Floyd, you know, former <laughs> Iowa State basketball coach? I, I just, you know, it, I, I just don't think that this team's going to work. I don't think that the owner is ever going to let it. I don't think it's going to put together an organization that can operate independent of himself, and that it's like an ego trip to him, and he's going to, you know. He's going to be like, oh, we'll trade all the receivers. We'll, we'll, let's, let's sign this new receiver to this huge contract. Oh, forget it. He's terrible. Cut him. I mean, it's just it's never good. I, I feel bad for Bryce Young. Hmm. It's never going to work out. But I, I don't think that it would have worked out if they had drafted the other kid. Well, well Ryan, um, let, let, let me jump in here. The I, I like I'm on the record. You can go find a whole bunch of videos of me saying I, I don't love that they stayed in house with Dan Morgan for the GM. But mm-hmm. if there is like a pipe dream, optimistic slant to it, it is. Maybe David Tepper trusts Dan Morgan. If, if he does get a few people that he trusts, is there any possibility in your brain that he could step back and kind of let the football guys do their job and he just didn't trust the previous regimes enough? No, I think that he signed Dan Morgan because it's kind of like Jerry Jones keeping his guys around. Mm. You know, like I'm going to keep somebody around that I already know how to boss around. We'll make him the GM, but I'm still going to be the one in charge. That is the fear. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. Appreciate it, Ryan. Yeah, uh, bye-bye. That that is that is the concern. The concern is, 
it's going to be different names, same story. Different GM, still getting bullied by David Tepper. Different head coach, still having you know the Game of Thrones run around gossip working against him uh, on the team. Uh, different quarterback or same quarterback, different you know the the Tepper's always going to be there. That is the concern. I'm I'm, I'm hunting for optimistic uh, avenues. I'm hunting for them. But if you want if you want pessimistic, I got a bunch of those too.